thinking about self-publishing and don't know where to start, join the Spa Girls each week for 30 minutes of advice, tips and resources. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Baller and I'm here with Cheryl Phipps. Hi there. And Shah Barrett. Hi. And Trudy J is still at pro skiing on the slope somewhere. <laughs> uh, just... Yeah. And she says we know she's she can't leave the country because we yeah. can't leave the country. Yeah. Skiing, <laughs> you know. She's um, gone bush. <laughs> yeah, basically. She's out there in the snow. She could have gone to some tropical island. We, we don't never know. know. <laughs> Only Actually, the photo true. she's sending us would be true, the giveaway. True. Yeah. Right? Because it does yeah. look cold. It does yeah. look cold. We've got a Crazy. current travel bubble with the Cook Islands and Rarotonga at the moment. So she possibly could have gone there and is just kind of fibbing about the whole And putting snow out. pictures into the background. Possible. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. So today's episode, we wanted to talk to you about <laughs> just bringing it back on track. Um, <laughs> cleansing your writing palette. So uh, you know, when we first start in this writing journey, we're all very excited and love what we do. And then as time goes on, like with anything, uh, you tend to get a bit bored with your own writing um, and you, things just become a bit laborious and a bit same old, same old. So we wanted to talk today about that and to tell you you're not actually alone, because yeah, I think every writer I know who's been writing for as long as they have feel the same way yeah Yeah. exactly um I mean personally if if we're talking about ourselves I often feel like I don't want to be here um that I you know that I don't want to go to my desk and I don't want to do any of the things that I need to do because it's gone from being something that it was a passion and something that I love which I still love writing but now it's a real it's a job it's a business. And any, when you put job into any title, <laughs> yeah. it makes things difficult, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. What exactly. do you think, Cher? I, I think it's absolutely true. And, and of course, mm. because it's a business, there's so many facets to it. And some you're just naturally going to enjoy mm. more than others. Um, yeah. you know, I, I, I mean, I have to throw out their marketing because we hear it all the time. And mm. I felt it and you felt it in the early days too, Wendy, haven't you? Yeah. But you've got a bit of it bit more of a handle on it now but you know it's still something that just I'm like oh my gosh and it, you know honestly we can talk about it here and with our groups and all that sort of thing because we all understand but you actually can't sit there for days on end and go I don't want to do it no, yeah. not do it you, d- you just can't but it's actually okay to feel that way and I think it's okay to put stuff off if you can um, just to give yourself a break, I think it's, it's a huge thing. We don't we don't take care of ourselves enough in that way by by um, actually scheduling in some time where it's it's not about the work. It's just about whatever, it, anything, it, yeah, anything. Exactly. Well, that, and that's part of cleansing your writing mm. palette. It's also <clears throat> maybe not writing for a bit or mm. giving yourself a break for a bit too. I think mm. is is you know that's one thing <laughs> absolutely and, and the thing is if we were going like my husband always says to me when I'm going I start the tr- long trek downstairs to my office he says he says to me that if you were going to work you mm. just have to suck it up and do yeah. it buttercup you know and, I, yeah. and I'm like who firstly who needs your advice but secondly, <laughs> you know, he's a brave uh, man, he's a man. Brave he, has, <clears throat> he has no fear um so and then that's a real mental shift, I think, from going from this is, is just something that's a hobby and I'm working from home and la, 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 I can do whatever I want, rah, rah, to actually my bum has to be on the seat for this many hours for me to achieve what I want. Um, exactly. So I don't know if we get bored. I think it's more yeah. um, an acceptance of what we have to do. And it's like, you know, it's yeah, that yeah. feeling of all of a sudden. So what? So I think for me, some of the some of the sort of steps I take to alleviate that boredom is to, um, you know, with my writing. Sometimes I'll change my font. Uh, it's something ah, as simple as that, and, and okay. I'll just change my font from because I'm always a Times New Roman girl. Always have been. I yeah. grew up with Times New Roman. And writing age, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I'll just change to Courier or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, um, Calibri's also- nice. Yeah, yeah, but I've also yeah. read that something about Comic Sans as well is meant to be re- like I know everybody jokes about Comic Sans, but apparently yeah. it's that's another technique that some writers have used. It yeah. just changes. It's a way know. too casual it, for me. I'm sorry. It, it, <laughs> it's not like you can't change it back, right? No, yeah. you can have anything talking you like. Publishing the book in Comic Sans. We're talking, <laughs> you know, on the don't, yeah. don't do wingdings. No. <laughs> so what about what about if you if you you just 
not doing well with what you're writing. If, if, if it's not succeeding, if you're, it, you know, you're hitting a brick wall and you're just like, why is I'm putting all this time and effort and I'm doing everything right. I'm ticking mm. all the boxes and still I'm not selling and still it's not working and still maybe the reviews are a bit blah or. Or you yeah. haven't got any no. reviews at all. So what do we yeah. do in those situations? Well, I think maybe you need a complete revamp. Um, and I don't necessarily mean um, changing fonts, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe a change of scenery, you know, writing yeah. a different atmosphere could be fine. But also maybe it's actually what you're writing. Maybe yeah. you don't want to be writing that. Sub mm. Subconsciously, you've got a, a project that you're really hankering to do. And that, to be honest, I, we all know that that next book is calling to you. And what you're working on suddenly becomes like, meh, mm. I want to get onto that. Yeah. But you know you have to finish it. And some of it could be that. And, yeah. and I, I, you know, I just, I think your boredom scheduling it. Yeah. The boredom comes through in your writing, doesn't yes. it? Sometimes, yes. You know, or how you're feeling yeah. about it. And especially yeah. if things are getting tougher, I think that comes through in your writing a little bit, mm. you know. Um, so I think. I don't know what you guys are like mentally. You're if you're in a bad space, it, it shows up in your writing. I or, think so. Or, yeah. or if you know you're down on yourself, it shows up in your writing. Yeah. Um, for me, I if I'm in that situation, I'll write with these guys, or I'll yeah. go out of the house and go to a cafe, or mm. I'll go something. But I mean, all of those things are great for if, if you're a bit bored in that. But if if an actual fact this genre is not working for you. Mm. I think it's it's an it's a it's time that you have to examine that and go come to the acceptance. Mm. Well, actually, maybe I should try something else. Now, I'm not saying do that straight away. What I'm saying is have a side project. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, we we know lots of writers um, in our life as as friends, and often uh, one of our friends talks about having her kind of sandbox. You know, so she'll do her you know, bread and butter writing, say, in the morning, and mm. then in the afternoon she has fun with some wild and wacky project that, mm. you know, maybe mm. isn't – it's just fun. And I mm. think that's the delicate balance, isn't it, particularly when, you, when you're doing this as a job, as your main mm. source of income. It's it's balancing that kind of, um, you know, the, the focus and the – you know, all of that kind of stuff mm. that you have to discipline – with but keeping that creative fun and that's I think that's an ongoing yeah. balancing mm. act isn't it but you it's know, enjoying it, it in the beginning too you know mm. like when you're yeah. new at this enjoy that enjoy that sort of testing part of you know oh, does this work for me or do I like this better or how does this mm. work and how many times have we had guests on that have done <laughs> that have actually broken out or seen a huge amount of success with something that maybe was not I don't want to say use the word quirky but something that they just thought you know what you know if I want to write you know giant blue aliens kind of thing I'm going to mm. do it and that's what's really it. yeah Pick there's something off. about the passion and the, the craziness that has come through um to the readers and, mm. and people have responded so yeah, yeah you yeah. can't always put one and two together and get three sometimes you know you just gotta no. sometimes it's good and I think I I think protecting the creative spark is is really really mm. important absolutely but I also think um for me if I set my deadlines too tight um uh -huh. if, if my if I've got deadlines sure. and then I've got the pr other processes at me like this is not just about writing we know that but this is about all of it encompasses mm -hmm. that especially before you start earning enough money to help get someone to help you so mm -hmm. there's dividing your time between all of those those separate processes mm -hmm. and quite often in the early days when I didn't have people to help me um I would you know what I think the thing to do is to I would write in a different space to what I would mm -hmm. do the rest in mm -hmm. you know Mm, something yeah. as simple as that um yeah change of <clears throat> physical location kind of thing and, and i know that yeah sorry go share well, I, I know that we talk about um just writing you know like not not editing as you go and and um you know just completing the process so that you've got something to edit in the end but i also do know some successful authors that what they will do is they'll um what they wrote yesterday they will edit yes. first thing and that actually pushes you forward because you're tidying it up you're making it better you're making it tighter mm. but it pushes you forward in the story until into the next bit so yeah. that I, th I thought that was a really really good tip and mm. the other thing that that I find for myself is that when I just really cannot write anymore today I'll do the thing the other things but pick and cherry pick the things that I actually 
find really appealing like mucking around and book brush you know like yeah. you've got some promos coming up or you want to do some promos in the future so yeah. making up a few of those using your, your book cover or you know or, or even that kind of thing like mm -hmm. playing around with the kind of book cover that you'd like for your next book or for this is book. it a reward process almost? i think so i think so down. it's not quite fluffy stickers sha but no. Yeah. In, in, in essence it is isn't it yeah but it's still exactly. creative you know yes. book brush is still being creative yes. so it's just yeah. ex accessing that different part mm. of creativity but it's also for a good reason you know yeah like you mm. whether you're making facebook ad graphics or promotional mm. graphics or whatever it still serves a purpose it's not yeah. it's not yeah. waste work you know? it's not like going down the rabbit hole of facebook no. or something like no, that is it yeah. no. you know i mean that that is wasting time honestly yeah. most let's let's be honest about 99 percent of the time that is wasting time yeah but if you're doing something else or or researching even on facebook that's okay yeah mm. you know that's that's not wasting time yeah. I, I think also a good way to sort of change things if you're not a goal setter is start setting a few goals yes uh, and just you know small ones um you know i most of you who've been listening to 300 episodes of this would know that I don't <laughs> like any structure at all. Um, so you for me, say that. it's not no, a but, down, but you do have no, it. That's right. But what I'm saying is if I set a few goals occasionally, mm -hmm. they'll re they tend to re motivate me. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, the thing is, if I also think if your current writing's not exciting you mm -hmm. at all, yeah. then you know, um, you need to sort of look at changing it up. You know, and, and things like collaborations. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, collaborations are great. Yeah. I've worked on a few, quite a few collaborations with people mm -hmm. and not writing the same book, but writing mm -hmm. for a collaboration. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Writing a standalone, if you write series, is another good one. Um, it, you know, those sort of things. Um, and the thing about changing the heat levels in your book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were talking about this the other day, right? Yeah. Um, not, not everyone likes to write sex. Or mm. you can like it, okay, but sometimes you might get burnt out with a particular type of heat level, you know, mm. and sometimes yeah. the actual palate cleanser is writing. Yeah. For example, if you're writing really hot um, contemporary romance, maybe switching it up to, to a, you know, a sweet small town kind of thing is, is just, it's just a different type of, yeah, it's yeah. Just a, it cleanses the writing yeah. palette. It's like it's like working on a novella, you know. It's like mm. a standalone novella. Like I was writing for this amazing um, Christmas series for many many years, um, and with a group of amazing writers. And every time I knew that I had to write that novella, I was like, yes, mm. it's right. not tied to anything. It's just yeah, like, yeah I can just yeah, you know, it's not mm. it's not too deep, and it, but it's yeah. got to be deep enough, and it's it was just, just a, different, fun, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. When you write so series, some fun yeah. projects. With yeah, yourself. fun oh, yeah. projects, you know, yeah. and that's that's exactly what it, it's like. And we've had guests on, right? That oh. have 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 you know, you think people have got it all together? Not so much, <laughs> right? No, yeah. no writer. Look, I don't, we're all figuring it out. That, that that's the truth, isn't it? All yeah. of us, no matter yeah. what what success level, how many reviews on Amazon or how many mm. dollars are in the bank account, everybody's still figuring it out. You still have to sit there day after day and put the yeah, words on paper. Exactly. So which is to... which is tough if it's not selling. Yeah, it's very tough. Yeah, if it's, it's tough selling. if you're not enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. you know, like if, if this is your what you want to do for your life and you're doing all, it all right as we said at the beginning mm. and it's still not selling you know that's it's really really tough mm. you know um but you know don't give up try no. something different exactly yeah. try to write something different and I, and, and I think especially when you first start out mm. really bear that in mind that is this yeah. something that you think you could write for indefinitely you know. that's it too mm. i think that's or, or if not indefinitely then for a decent amount of time yes to give yourself it, if, something, a if you do write your crazy you know alien. seven foot tall blue alien um you've got to kind of and it does take off good good news you're going to be writing more of them if you yeah. want to see that yeah. continue yeah. success mm. but i um like we've talked about heat changing up heat levels changing up <clears throat> genre changing up um writing length as well because that's a different sort of yeah. school mm -hmm. um what else how else can we well i think you know i think if writing's it's a solitary thing uh and if you're a social person which is i think pretty much the three of us can be quite social mm -hmm. but we're also yeah. introverts in our own way believe it or not yeah. um but i think 
if it's getting too much for you, then get out. Find your little group of people, even if it's just one, and go and write with them. Uh, because I, for me, or online, if yeah, or online. Yeah. But I love like there's so many online writing groups. Um, oh, yeah. and for a while just, there, I was in the London um, Literary Morning Salon. I was getting up in the morning and writing with them, you know. And there's there's just so many, and you will be amazed how much more motivating it is to write with a group of people. It's mm. incredible. It mm. just it's something about that. <laughs> Um, particularly when it is in person I'll say that mm. um, or even just by yourself but there's something about I don't know it's the energy that shifts um, even yeah. if they've got no idea what you're writing and you've got no idea what they're writing mm. there's something about the energy shift I, it is I can see why those collaborative workspaces you know for whatever industry you know you've got those you know where you can hire a desk or whatever I can see right. why that works there's something mm. we're fundamentally social animals and mm -hmm. I think it does excuse me croaky voice it does it does help a lot yeah and i know so, that but, myself yeah. it's just it, it's amazing the difference it can make well it's that mindset isn't it you are actually now at work yeah and you, yeah. you know now you're going to work because yeah, <laughs> otherwise that's a waste of time isn't it <laughs> if, you, if you travel somewhere and you just muck around you're yeah. actually going to work and you have to do we, some work we <laughs> talked about writing spaces quite quite a lot and mm. and quite often you know if you live in a one bedroom apartment to find your writing space is not is not easy yeah. but to actually get up physically and move to an area within that and mm. you know sit down put you in your chair mm. and put mm. your headphones on and some people, writers put their music on and just let that flow through them for a while I'm one of those and then yeah. I have a soundtrack that as soon as I plug in I'm like oh boom yeah. right you know, it's always been that yes. way for me. And, and and so if you can't actually put yourself away from a distraction, I think, then find a way to deal with that environment you're in. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I know um, also for some authors, it's like you say, the, there's the soundtrack. So creating a soundtrack that kind of plugs you into it. But also scents, like as in yeah. putting on a candle or, a, you know, incense or whatever, some kind of oil burner. That, that can also trigger that kind of it just kind of lifts you into the into the zone a bit more kind of thing yeah That's and if, often helpful can you if everyone can hear the little barking in the background it's cheryl's little puppy having a great I'm time so sorry. Hey, i'm so sorry oh, my no, husband's home lovely. looking after her and not doing a great job <laughs> no, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Absolutely. So if we're talking about ourselves um, and how we go through these, these, mm -hmm. uh, what do we do to deal with what we do? Pretty much what we've talked about, but is there any yeah. other sort of steps that we take that when we, I mean, I've tried, I must admit myself, I've got lots of side projects that will never see the light of day. Um, and, yeah. and because I write a series and I'm quite a few books into them now, I know that every time I sit down at my computer, I'm going to be writing basically the same thing um, with some twists and turns. And so I'm just like, hmm. So I've I wrote a, I've started writing a thriller, which again will never see the light of day. And never I say a, never. I had a go at a cozy mystery, and I've had you know a, 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 you know all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But it's fun, even if it's not something that is your jam. It really is. It is fun. It's like taking a bit of a holiday, a bit of a break mentally, but you're still writing. Yes, mm. yes. You know? Yeah. I mean, you've tried different genres here. Oh, I have. I have. And I and I think I have found the place that I need to be, which is Cozy Mysteries. Yeah. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm uh, going to be on the seventh book for one of the series, but the other books, the other ones have got three in them, and now I'm just starting a new one because I need to have that difference. And just yeah. having a different um, sleuth and a different um, pet yes. and, you know, just, just giving people personalities. I, I, I think I actually really love that yeah. more than anything else. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but, but I, you know, you were talking about taking breaks. I actually think that's a really good idea to get outside if you can. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. to walk around um, a mall or a quiet street or whatever, you know, really appeals to you. It's amazing just being in nature can yeah. can do things to you. Or being around other people, listening to conversations, those things really appeal to me as well. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And, and also it, water too, whether yeah. you can walk beside water or actually mm. have a shower. Um, we had a conference many years ago here in New Zealand and it was Christopher Vogler. Remember he came out the, mm. um, and he talked about 
it was a, like it was scientifically proven. Basically, it mm -hmm. was the, the ions and the negative ions, um, yeah. not irons, as in, but I O N S. That's mm -hmm. my dodgy Kiwi accent. Sorry, but there was something about that that really helped. Yeah. Keep, um, but it's refreshing the well, on. isn't it? It's yeah. really refreshing the well. And yeah. and for me, if I if I sit for too long and I just shut out everything else, by the time I get out my back sore, or well, my yeah, head sore, or my legs are sore. Not good for you. And and physically, <laughs> it isn't good to just sit down at, in a space and just work in that space without movement. Mm. We do it at work. We when we went to our day job, when we used to go yeah. to our day jobs and and things like that. Your day job, down. you're yeah. often talking with other people. You're going up, going mm. to the you know bathroom. You're getting a cup of coffee or tea or whatever. Mm. You're often moving. Like yeah. you're actually moving more than you are yeah. when you're actually working from home yeah. Um, yeah. yourself uh, but yeah the I think the um sorry I've lost my train of thought you carry on I'm <laughs> <laughs> well we went out the other day and, and and that's the thing about having your husband at home they they tend to need to do things like today and uh, but we went for a long drive to visit a, a family member and we just we just met up at a cafe way, way out in the country because we are kind of in the country yeah. and uh, that was a really pleasant way I had nothing with me I would yeah. I won't mm. use my phone if I'm with other people yeah. so and I had no laptop or anything like that so it was just pure conversation catching up out in the country it was a beautiful sunny day yeah and honestly when I came home I mean I was a bit weary but I was actually enthused to to begin some work yeah. so yeah I, and I, I know I that definitely, for yeah. me personally when I meet up physically with you guys even if we're not talking necessarily about writing if we're just talking spa girls business mm -hmm. I always come back enthused it, it, yes. I think it is it's just getting in touch with what enthuses you about this whole yeah business mm. is really mm. important rejuvenating and, it, and like yeah, yeah and I think you kind of have to schedule I would say scheduling breaks with that kind of thing like yeah. scheduling mm. what do they talk about the um artist date and and mm. um uh oh god the artist way Juliet Cameron's artist way she talks about taking yourself on an artist date so going into an art mm. gallery for example or going to a music mm. concert yeah. or listening mm. to music all of that stuff is really important mm. um so that i have got my ideas back i had to write them down because this is just what <laughs> when you're, my you're life at a certain yeah. age man um so taking yourself on a creative date and also changing up how you write so maybe dictation trying dictation into a phone app writing. you know yeah. that can yeah. help too i yeah. i know some people that like you know, handwriting maybe. I mean, I can't imagine it, but no, you I know, can't imagine it. It's like yeah. double different work strokes. For me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Cha different strokes. Change it. Yeah, change it up. Yeah, mm. and you know, if you've got some quirky little side project, you know, there's no, there's no pen name police. You know, yeah. put it up under a different pen name. You don't need all the bells and whistles. Just if you want, just a side box project that you just want to, mm. you know palette cleanse kind of thing you're not mm. necessarily looking mm. at it for yeah. a different mm. source of income you know create a pen name and just shove it up there like mm. you know there's no or, rules. or hoard them or two or three stories and then yeah. if you wanted to launch a pen name bam yeah. you know you mm. can yeah. get around some tra Absolutely. traction but I think seriously changing things up in so far as if you usually write in blocks of an hour or, or 40 yes. minutes, change them up to, to 30 minutes and yes. put your timer on and say, well, I'm writing for 30 minutes and I'm, I'm going to set myself a goal to get up after those 30 minutes, do some stretching mm. or do some walking yes. or make myself a cup of coffee, then come back down and do another 30. Yeah. So we used to write in 40s, Cher and I, we've changed and blocked those to 30 now. Yep. Um, and we're getting yeah. just as much writing done and probably more because we're doing 4.30 you know yeah um and when that, you say the 30 minutes is done you're like oh great you know yeah what should that's, I do that's and then the thing. let's yeah. let's go into the next 30 and can I beat that you know and yeah. that's another thing I want to say and this is something I've started doing lately is finishing when you don't want to finish when you're still fresh and you when you're still ready ah, to go so when you're right. still into the story um it's quite I know that that sounds crazy but for me it's quite a good time to walk away because my mind's still full of it and then it means in the morning I'm just like okay I'm ready to get back into that yeah. instead of writing yourself out the well is yeah. empty um yeah. that's when I find that it's a struggle to get back into it whereas so just, that's like a good point just make a few notes in the tank yeah just leave some, and and like I, I have a piece of paper beside my desk which I won't show you because it's a scribble and no one but me would understand it but basically that's just a few little notes that I yeah. made at the end of the day mm -hmm. that are like well I, I'll start with that in the morning yeah. you know yeah. um 
and I'm not a rereader. Like she said that a lot of people go back and reread and edit. I'm not. I won't reread what I've written until I get to a certain point in my book. Um, and then I just keep going. So um, I think for me, that's been a bit of a game changer. The two mm -hmm. things have been the 30 minute writing and the walking away. Um, because I'm home with my husband and he's retired now, um, I'm, I'm mindful that it's nice to spend a bit of time with him. And that's been a good thing too, because he'll say coffee and I'll, I'll down tools. Whereas when he wasn't home, I just wrote. You just had your coffee at your desk and, yeah. and worked, you know. Yeah. So it's, 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 a, it's finding your groove. But even five years on or however many we are, we're still finding that groove. Mm. Well, that's it, and I think it's it's just because something's worked for a while doesn't mean that uh, you still can't change it up too. I think we we tend to be, particularly writers, can be quite I don't know superstitious is the right word, but we kind of we're kind of sometimes a little nervous of, to change something mm. if it's working. And I mean, I'm not saying you know tip it all out, <laughs> but yeah. but we're talking about if you're feeling a little jaded or a little tired or a lot tired and a lot jaded, you know, changing things up is a good thing. Mm. One thing I did really want to bring up, and it's something that has really been reinforced by a lot of our recent interviews, actually, and it really became apparent to me that I wasn't reading. I had stopped reading fiction. Mm, I mean, huge. I read nonfiction, but to me, it's a different reading experience because I'm filling that learner. Yeah. Well, and I mean, we had Lucy Lennox on, who's incredibly, uh, you know, hardworking mm. and prolific and works, you know, long hours happily, but she reads a book a day, she talked mm. about, mm. you know, and, and I'm, yeah, that really struck me. It wasn't just her, it was other guests that mm. we've had on as well, that it's easy to get out of that writing, uh, their reading habit. Mm. And I think for me, I've sh literally scheduled, which seems ridiculous as, as the person that, could spend you know I literally went through my first labor reading um five mills and boom box but that's another story but now the fact that I'm scheduling it is it seemed like it took me a while to get mm. that but it's I have a little ding on my phone and so I eat my lunch and read rather than you know as Cheryl said trolling through Facebook or the internet mm. you know I actually yeah. feel like I'm first of all I'm supporting other authors I'm also keeping up to date with my preferred subgenre, so I'm kind of reading the top stories in that but it, it does it gives you back a little bit of that magic because I think mm. it's easy to lose that magic when you're in the business you know yeah absolutely I'm heavily into audiobooks now because I didn't have time yeah. for reading so for me, um, I will lay in bed at night before I go to sleep and listen to audiobooks. I yeah. listen to them when I'm having lunch. I listen to them when I go for a walk. I listen to them in the car. So I don't get the time for reading, but I'm still reading, if you know reading. what I mean. That's you know, it's, it, it's, and, and I love reading other people's books. It's not that I want to plagiarize them or, or take their ideas, but mm. it just gets those juices flowing, mm. you know? Oh, yeah. um, and, and I think as writers, we can't not have time to read. You know, no, and, agree, and, but and the time not we, to though, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, easy not to. It's I've easy gone to think, through. Oh, I've got an hour months. spare. I should yeah. be focusing on that mm. Amazon egg course. You know, yes, that I've got sitting exactly. there that I bought that I haven't yeah. actually watched. Yeah. I mean, we've all been there. I, yeah. I, I, I cannot. I'm too ashamed to admit, and I'm too scared to add out how many things I've bought, programs, courses, whatever, and not not watch them through. And I think yeah. it's not an uncommon thing. Yeah. So it's, I think what we take giving you permission is to say it's okay to down tools and pick yeah, up the reading definitely. <laughs> <Tallest> thing. <laughs> yeah and I think uh finding inspiration in other people you know uh mm -hmm. talking to other writers um even just you know watching things on YouTube or yeah so, and another one is you know for, for me being an historical writer I, I'm not ex very good at reading tomes and tomes of research so yeah. I'll go to YouTube and watch something there do you know, mm. and that's really mm. inspiring for me to go on there or or watch a series or those sort of things. I think we get trapped into a mindset. Mm. Very easy. You must yeah. do this. And, and there's only one way to do it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and because we've got a traditional background where we've got been going to conferences for years saying you've got it this way and this is how it works and you yeah. must get, you know. And we we talk about getting your bum in your seat and writing, but there is so much more to writing, I believe. Mm. I agree. And I think looking you know? after yourself, you've got to put yourself <coughs> your and your creative self as a priority. I really do. Absolutely do. And if you want longevity in this, and we, we've said this before, and yeah. we'll probably we'll say it again, if you want longevity in this, you can't you can't burn out. No. You've, 
you if you feel no. that happening you need to give yeah. yourself permission to have a break yeah. and, and we've had writers on who say they like to write in chunks or or, or mm. I think one of our last guests we had and I can't remember who it was I'm sorry about that said that they write solidly for a week to write a yes. book yeah mm-hmm. yeah and then they take a and break. then they yeah. take yeah. it absolutely so yeah. if your writing process is different from someone else's that's okay yeah exactly perfectly okay because it's your deal it's your writing process mm-hmm. um so i think if things have got to that stage where you're like burnt out and, and bored and i and i know Cher and i and possibly Shah too we've all been in this situation oh, yeah we've all totally. talked to, to each other about being in this situation of not yeah. have of hitting that wall and going mm-hmm. we don't know where to go from here things things are not working um it can be in your personal life as well as your you know and yeah, that can equate roll through so many things can can impact on on your writing life so many yeah and 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 the thing about being a writer you're the boss the Mm. boss the buck stops with you and if you've made that huge decision that this is the way you're going to earn your money and things aren't going well that's only going to make things worse isn't it you know it's a sky it it, it sort of rolls on and rolls on don't make yourself miserable doing something you hate no life is too short for that and Mm. also i think Mm. it's okay to to step away and take a break as well and we also have spoken to guests that have actually done that they've just needed to to step away and 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 Mm. just yeah, yeah that's and okay too, you know. But but you know, bottom line is, guys, how cool that you're a writer. Just mm. want to oh, say, yeah, yeah. It's super cool. Mm. It's such a super cool thing. How many people do you know that are writers? And how many people, when they say to you, "What are you?" and you say you're a writer, and they go, "Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 wow," yeah. you know, like no, that is. It's, it's got cool. The cool I think if you can take away all, all the all the negative things about being an author, and, and there are some, of course, there are some, and and you still come up with the fact that it's something that you want to do and that you're passionate about, then. You know, you you found the perfect place to be. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And you know, I think and the all power to you. Perfect place and the perfect time to be here as well. How cool Mm. is it Mm. that we don't have to submit our manuscript? Yeah. for mm. or, or yeah. our query letter i should yeah. say wait 18 months for a reply that invariably says send me the first three chapters and then you send those <laughs> not that i'm bitter but no. like I'm, yeah, <laughs> i've still got us, manuscripts out there in the world i was gonna say all years. of us have still I got things out from. there submissions yeah. that we're still waiting to yeah. hear on you know 10 years later you know i mean it's awesome that you can just press that button and i think let's not lose the magic of that because it's no like, yeah exactly. and, and awesome. i and i also think just want to add that you know the, we've been through some pretty tough times uh the world yeah. <laughs> over the last sort of year mm. or so longer uh and i think if you're still getting creative and writing you're doing very well for yourself I agree. because I it, agree. just cut yourself some slack yep. take a step back yep. chunk your writing down or go for your walks take your fresh air turn things around a little bit even work on your change your font you know yeah. um Add those some sort of spice or take away some yeah, spice yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> but just don't be too hard on yourself. No, exactly. You know, be kind. Be yeah. kind to yourself. Yeah. And I think on that note, yeah, that, yeah. that will do us. I and think so, we're giving you a permission slip to be kind to yourself. Yeah, yeah you are. absolutely. Um, so so yeah. we can be found, Char? Well, we can be found at spargirlspodcast.com. Come along to Facebook and let us know how you cleanse your writing palette because we're always keen to hear on that. Um, likewise, if you've got any suggested topics for us to talk about, we're yeah. open to that as well. Um, yeah guest interviews we um we have a number of inquiries pretty much every day so Mm -hmm. we tend to reach out to people rather than take kind of um uh unsolicited inquiries but Mm -hmm. it's topic suggestions we're absolutely open to so yeah yeah come to facebook oh put some topics up yeah okay and that's us and for another weekend thanks for listening thanks for listening Bye. bye bye